Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And we're gonna use the geometry here to find the legs and altitude of a right triangle. Our figure here is as such. We have a right triangle, and the hypotenuse is kind of laying on the bottom. And we have a, a little length kind of written here, two and eight, A and D is two, D, B is eight. And then we have an altitude that was drawn there, that's how it created, well, these two parts here. Which is that information, we want to find our missing parts of the triangle. We have a height right here and the other two legs uh, of the triangle. So just that, we want to see if we can find those values. So pause this video, see if you can remember what you learned in geometry. But uh, if not, we're going to go tackle a way to solve this problem. Okay. So we want to solve this problem here. We're going to use what we know about the geometric mean theorem with altitudes, okay? And what that really does is when we have an altitude, which we have here, right angle from the hypotenuse to the right angle, kind of see how that goes. So the hypotenuse of the large triangle, opposite of the right angle, but we have a straight line, altitude here to this right angle here that goes into that hypotenuse. Some things happen. We have a lot of similar triangles. We actually create three similar triangles. It's a beautiful, beautiful little thing in geometry here. And we have three right triangles, as you can see, A, D, C, then B, D, C, and then A, C, B. So I'm going to write these right triangles out to show that they're similar here. And in doing so, we have a triangle here. I want to make sure I keep the same order, the small leg to long, long leg. So we have A, D in that order, A, D, C. All right, small leg, long leg in the order A, D, D, C. And then that's similar to our triangle, okay? Small leg C, D, to then B, the long leg. And we're gonna do the same thing, same thing here, with the larger one, A, C being the small leg. Oops, <laughs> not C. I'm gonna try to look like an A. A, C, and then B, with the hypotenuse being, well, kind of B back to A being the hypotenuse. With that, I like to redraw a little image under each one of the triangle here, okay, redraw of what we know. Now, we have some question marks, so let's give some labels here. Let's call the length C, D, R, H, our height here. Let's call this one C, B, opposite of big A to be little a. And then opposite of big B, little b. Kind of a little technique here, okay? So let's go draw these little triangles. We have a little right triangle here. And put what we know. So we have A, D, C, little leg is two. Big leg is H. And hypotenuse is B, here. The second one, same idea. Again, not drawn to scale, but in the same order. Little leg here is C, D, that length C, D, which is H. Then large leg DB, which is eight, which we know, and then the hypotenuse is A, CB. And then a large triangle, we have little leg, big leg here. Okay, little leg is AC, which is B. Then we have the long leg, which is CB, which is A, in this case here. And then our hypotenuse, that should be pretty easy, two and eight right there for BC is a 10, okay? So now what do we know about similar triangles is that their side lengths are proportionate. So we're gonna take what we know, can we make some proportion here and solve for a missing variable, okay? So my guess is each one has a way that we can put them together to get a proportion, to get a variable by itself with a number, blah, 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 get the answer. That's the goal here, okay? So what I'm looking for here, uh, all right, we have A, 10, 8, and A. Look at that. We have A, well, one variable that's repeated. So we can say that A over 10 is equal to 8 over A. Hypotenuses over, uh, hypotenuse over each other, long leg over long leg, okay? Cross multiply right there. We have A squared equals an 80, okay? Then we want to take a square root of both sides, but a boom, but a bing. And we have A is equal to square root of 80. I simplified that for us. And that is four square root of five. And so A has a length of four square root of five. Okay. 
So now let's go see if we can find another one here. Now keep in mind we have four square root five right there given to us. What else can we get? Um, bum, 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 bum. Applying here, maybe the first. These two should be able to go together. What am I getting here? Uh, two H, H and eight. Perfect, same thing. So two over H, the short leg, so two over an H is equal to an H over an eight. Again, we cross multiply here. Fitting it in, two times eight is a 16, equals h squared. Square root both sides, pretty easy here. Square root of 16 is a four, so h is equal to four. It can't be a minus four, it's gotta be positive values. So we have the height here, we have one of the legs, we need to get b by itself here. And there's a few ways, obviously we can do that now, Pythagorean theorem, but I think we can do that with a ratio again, because that's so much more fun. The first and last one right here to B, B, 10. We can do that, right? They're similar triangles. So two over B is equal to, so two over that B is equal to B over 10. Cross multiply always. 10 times two is 20. You should get that it equals B squared, right? B times B, B squared. Square root both sides and b, that's right here. Isn't it lovely how that happens? b equals square root of 10. Oh, just double check minus. Uh, square root of 20, sorry, is two square root of five. And we got a b value here. So there we have it. We had the two legs, four square root of five and two square root of five, and a height of four with just the values that were given. And we use geometry here to find the legs and altitude of a right triangle. Well, I hope you learned something here and you had some fun learning about it. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, this helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always here, thanks for watching.